Hi everybody, so it's Wednesday the 25th of March at about 4 o'clock and wow, look at A the view and B the weather and a beautiful skylark that is accompanying, um, accompanying us. So I thought I'd just give you the opening routine that we usually do to start off our, all our classes. Um, obviously I've not brought up a chair with me so this is the standing version uh, but feel free to do it in your seats. So we always start off with this upper lymphatic opening. It helps to boost your immune system if we open up the lymph system. So we're going to start with some deep abdominal breath, which open up the work the deeper lymphatic vessels. So nice big breath in and a good slow breath out. Just think of a balloon. You're breathing in and expanding. You're breathing out and you're deflating that balloon. So do five or six. I won't do as much here, so I'm not taking up lots of video time. And then we'll open up our, the drainage area of our lymphatic system here in the head and the neck. So big breath in, nice slow breath out as we're taking our chin to chest, breathing in. Breathing out ear to shoulder, breathing in back to center, breathing out ear to shoulder, breathing in back to center. Do three or four rounds of that, then we're going to breathe in, breathe out, turning our heads to the side, breathe in back to center, breathe out, turn to the side. Do two or three rounds of that, then a nice big breath in. And a big smiley face. So you're taking your head round, take an extra breath if you need, all the way around to the side. Big breath in at the other side. Breathing out, slowly taking your head round to the other side. And then back to center. Notice I've got my palms facing forward. Really helps to lift up your shoulders, shoulders back, neck up. And then we're going to raise our shoulders up towards our ears as we breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Again, you can do four or five times, then taking your shoulders round and up as you breathe in. And breathing out as you take them back and down. Do the same with that several times. And then breathing in as we take them behind and up. Breathing out, forward and down. Lovely. Fingers onto your collarbone if you like. Breathing in, elbows to the front and side. Breathing out as you take it back and down. Doing the other way around. Breathing in, take them behind and to the side. Breathing out, forward and down. Again, you can do that three or four times. Then we're opening up uh, the lymph nodes in the axillary area. So we're going to take a nice breath in. Breathe out, lengthen and turn. Breathe in up to the ceiling. Breathe out, stretch over. Breathe in, push your palm up. Breathe out, lift those fingers down. Breathing in, breathe out, lengthen, turn. Breathe in up to the ceiling. Breathe out, stretch over. Breathe in, push up. Breathe out, lovely down. So we usually do three of those and then our last one, we're going to hold a little bit longer, so we're going to turn up to the ceiling, stretch over, and then just reach a little bit further, just a little mini bounce, just to lengthen that. And then, as we've been doing recently, we're going to bend our knees and then take that round in a bit of a whoo, and you can do several of those. And other side, breathe in, breathe out, lengthen, turn, up to the ceiling, stretch over, reach. Do about 10 and then we're bending our knee Woo! and you can do several of those. Another one you could do from here actually is bending your knees, taking up, up to the ceiling, push up and then let go. Breathing in, push up and let go. Again, repeat a few more of those. Diaphragm breath, remember, breathe in and expand. Breathe out, curl forward, turn the spine forward, breathe in and expand. Take your head back as much as is comfortable for you. Oh, come forward. Brilliant. So 
that basically opens up your upper body and then just think about opening up the lower lymphatics so you can just be lifting your legs sometimes we lift up and out up and in up and out up and in all right any of that sometimes also think about moving our upper body getting our rib cage moving from side to side we started calling this the washing machine because you can then vary that movement going up and down taking it over your head a bit of hair combing and just see what movement how much movement you can get into your rib cage all right and then you can move on to doing the little ball underneath your foot but i'll show you that another time so enjoy and keep enjoying this weather thanks everybody